So hello and welcome to today's video. Now let's just cut to the chase here. Casting calls for Bully 2 might be happening at this very moment. As of making this, last night Rockstar Intel put up an article about these casting calls and I'm going to cover that and give my thoughts and concerns on it. There are seven casting calls for a new unannounced video game title with the leading UK games developer shooting at Pinewood Studios. Now if you're familiar with Rockstar Games, you'll know they're mostly based in the United States and the United Kingdom, alongside other studios in Canada and India. Now Rockstar's British studios are Rockstar London, Rockstar North based in Edinburgh, Scotland, Rockstar Lincoln and Rockstar Leeds. Now if you're a fan of Buddy, you know that Rockstar Vancouver was shut down in 2012 following the release of Max Payne 3, so it only makes sense for Buddy's development to be moved to another Rockstar branch, as Rockstar Toronto, who Vancouver were merged with, aren't exactly developers themselves. From what I've read about them, they mostly deal with ports to other platforms, only ever actually being responsible for the Warriors. Every other project they've worked on has always been a port to PC or support developer for a different game. So let's also cover another massive part of this, the fact the casting call is in the UK. Now this could possibly mean that Bully 2 might be set in the United Kingdom, which if it is, I think it's safe to say we can bid farewell to most of our characters from 2006, as I don't really see any scenario where multiple characters would be returning, so if you're expecting Jimmy and Pete or whoever to come back, you might be very disappointed. If Bully 2 is going to be set in the UK, then I for one am damn excited about that. Aside from GTA London, I really don't think there has ever been a game by Rockstar that actually takes place in the UK. I know many people would prefer an American setting, but in all honesty, I think Bully's a game series that could possibly take place anywhere, as unlike GTA, Bully didn't have a very strong American vibe to it, at least to me anyway. Like GTA for example practically has American culture and references at every single corner. But Buddy wasn't like that at all to me, it felt like it could take place in any western country and it'd just be the exact same game, just with different accents. The casting calls are mainly for young and teenage roles, and involve placeholder names for the characters. The casting call actually provides a warning and some vague details about the project. So let's take a step back here to 2011. GTA 5's casting call was leaked sometime in March 2011 under the placeholder name of Rush, and many GTA 5 characters had placeholder names and description. For example, Steve Haynes, one of the antagonists in that game, his casting call name was Mitch Hayes, while characters like Michael and Trevor were called Albert and Simon. So later that year, in 2011, not 2011, sorry, I mean November 2011, GTA 5's trailer was officially released. So if this casting call is for Body 2, we can expect development to really pick up now, as aside from any DLC and online updates, I think we can safely say development for Red Dead Redemption 2 is wrapping up now. And I apologise if you heard that. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. And Rockstar can move on to their next project, which according to many leakers, is going to be Body 2. Also, I might as well say it now, but everything is a placeholder to prevent leaks. Mild violence and profanity will be used in scenes with the young performer. The project itself is a thriller drama, and all scenes with the young performer will be handled with sensitivity. So let's cover the biggest part of this section. Thriller and drama. Anyone who's ever played Buddy knows Buddy is not a dramatic game at all, it's probably the least dramatic game Rockstar have ever made, as I'm pretty sure it was like 95% satire and comedy, and to be honest that makes me think of a possible outcomes for this. Either A, it's a placeholder description, because if it said the project itself is a comedy, that would scream Buddy to me. Possibility B, Buddy as a franchise might be going for a major overhaul, much like how GTA 4 was compared to the likes of GTA San Andreas and Vice City where GTA 4 was very dark, dramatic and very serious compared to the likes of Vice City and San Andreas. Now, if it is that, I'm kind of worried that Rockstar might screw up on what made Bully so unique compared to its other franchises. Like when it comes to Rockstar games, I personally view Red Dead as being the main drama thriller kind of series from Rockstar. Now violence, not surprised at all let's be honest, practically all of Rockstar's games have violence in them, but one thing I'm surprised at is the use of profanity. Now as we know, in the beta of Bully, Bully did have a lot of profanity. There's even deleted fighting audio of somebody saying kick him in the m***ing ass. So this could mean Rockstar might also be attempting to revisit that part of Bully again, where it was more violent and darker as opposed to the light-hearted game we know and love. Now the fact it says the performer will also be used in the scenes could imply that our main characters, actors and actresses might be doing their own motion capture work. Much like how the main characters from GTA 5 did their own motion captures. The calls, made by casting director Jessica Jeffries, will be shot in Pinewood Studios in London, a very popular and large-scale video studio for very big companies. Some casting calls directly mention staff as college professors. We've also seen Rockstar staff come into engagement with these listings, but won't be showing how, won't be showing who or how. Now let's cover the biggest part of this: college professors. Now this could possibly confirm that Body Two might be set in college rather than a high school. 
Personally, I'm very conflicted on that, as on the one hand, Rockstar could get away with much darker storylines revolving more around drugs and sex than that. But that strongly goes against what Buddy was about, as I think Buddy One was all about the joys of being a teenager and stereotypical life of one, such as playing pranks on others, getting girlfriends, getting into fights, getting into trouble, high school drama between a certain couple who can't keep their relationship issues private, and the kinds of people we meet during our school years, like that one weird kid who's obsessed with video games, that weird rich snob who thinks he's better than everyone, and the shy effeminate kid and more. While setting Buddy in a college, I think it would certainly take away some of that special charm that Buddy had, but I would be open to seeing how this would work. If I had to guess, it could work like American Pie or The Inbetweeners, for example. And yes, I know The Inbetweeners was set in a school, but I'm just thinking like the ages of the characters were like sick form, which over here means college age basically, even though it's not in college. Anyway, um, as I was saying, and that's only if Buddy can actually remain a comedy kind of game and not a semi-serious drama or whatever. Now somebody on the Buddy subreddit actually made a great point in saying this might not actually be Buddy, but might be related to the leaked Harry Potter RPG that was leaked about a week ago from when this video was made. Now I am not a Harry Potter fan here so bear with me while I screw everything up, but for the unaware, last week a video was uploaded to YouTube showcasing a supposed leaked trailer for a new Harry Potter game which was quickly pulled by Warner Brothers. So what does this actually have to do with Buddy 2 exactly? Well from my knowledge of Harry Potter, which is none by the way, Harry Potter is also set in the UK and its cast is also mostly teenagers, and since there was a leaked trailer of that game, or supposed, there's very strong evidence that we can expect to see a new Harry Potter game coming soon, and it only makes sense for there to be casting calls for possible roles, which could explain why there's only 7 casting roles instead of, I don't know, 20 or something, as Rockstar tend to have a wide selection of main characters. What I mean by this could mean that the company behind this new Harry Potter game are just getting some final characters. Or not, I'm just theorising here. In closing though, I have a very strong feeling that this could almost certainly be Buddy 2. There's just too many leaks which are seemingly proving true. From the supposed leaked artworks that happened last year, to multiple leakers claiming that Buddy 2 is coming up next after Red Dead Redemption 2. There's also one guy on the Red Dead Redemption subreddit who, prior to the third trailer of Red Dead, I believe he listed a load of leaks about the game, such as character customization for Arthur, weapon customization, and how NPCs and the world would interact with you and more. And at the bottom of that, there was a very small tidbit about Buddy 2 saying it was coming after Red Dead Redemption 2 and it would have more advanced AI interactions, which if you're following Red Dead 2, you know that Red Dead's going to be really intense on that. So I'm hoping that's true. Anyway, as Red Dead is growing the corner from us now, everything that guy said has became true. And the fact that this supposed casting call is happening just as the development for Red Dead is coming to a close, I think Rockstar are almost certainly beginning work on the next project, which, according to every single leaker, is Buddy 2. And the fact there's an incredibly high demand for a Buddy sequel, as everything Rockstar tweets is a mixture of give us Red Dead Redemption 2 info, give us GTA 6, I was banned for modding, fuck you, and give us Buddy 2. So overall, I now actually do believe that Buddy 2 is happening. I mean, I know you might think not, or you might do, but personally, this does give me a lot of hope. So rather than repeat myself 20 times more, and just before I end the video, I just want to say a few things. Um, first of all, there's a Buddy 2 subreddit now that's ran by me and Swegter, and that's where we hope to have all the Buddy 2 stuff posted and that. If you haven't already, check it out. It's in the description below. There's about 150 readers or something like that, subscribers there. Um, but yeah, basically, we've got our Buddy 2 subreddit set up. We just, like you know, need to set up the CSS for it and make it look nice. Uh, secondly as well, I apologise for the lack of any good videos lately. Since I'm approaching 20,000 subscribers now, I've been hard at work on a 20,000 subscriber special, and there's about 17 parts of that video, and I'm about, as of making this video, um, let me check, 53% done. So yeah, I'm hard at work on that, which is why my latest videos, like this one, haven't been that good, because I've just been working really hard on that. I'm aiming to get that video to be around half an hour long, something like that. Currently it's about 17 minutes long, so it's going to be one hell of a really long video. Yeah, that's why I haven't uploaded any good videos lately and sort of rushed everything else like this one. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you all for the 20,000 subscriber special, which hopefully should be coming in the next few days or weeks, by the end of the year hopefully. 